The Generals won the night over the Seguin River Monsters. Generals got on the board early with an RBI signal from Connor Clark in the top of the second, making the score 2-1. to one. But the Generals, they would take the lead and the River Monsters would respond with an RBI single from Vinny Samuel. It tied the game up at two, but Riley Bender for the Generals breaks it up with an RBI single in the top of the seventh inning. This would be enough for the Generals as they stay ahead in the TCL standings. The MLB All-Star Game concluded here tonight at Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas. The AL All-Stars won 5-3 over the NL All-Stars. Shohei Otani hit a three-run shot in the third inning, but the AL would respond with Juan Soto doubling the deep center, and Jaron Duran hit a two-run bomb for the AL that took the lead 5-3. And right now, again, nothing really crazy from Astros Ranger starts by Marcus Simeon. Did have one hit in the game tonight, and he didn't have had enough for the AL to win over the NL. Dallas Mavericks point guard Kyrie Irving has undergone surgery to repair his left hand. Irving suffered the injury earlier this month while training. It is not his shooting hand, but the third shield Irving no stranger to injury issues. The Mavs hope he can be ready for camp in about two months. Joe Bryant, the father of Kobe Bryant, has died at 69 years old. Bryant was also known as Jelly Bean, who recently suffered a stroke. Brian played his college ball at LaSalle and was drafted 14 overall in the 1975 NBA draft by Golden State. He's also had stints with the Philadelphia 76ers, then the San Diego Clippers, and now the Houston Rockets. Post from the Sixers called Brian a local basketball icon and offering condolences. This comes four years after Kobe and his daughter Gianna died in a helicopter crash. In the NFL, San Francisco 49ers Brandon Ayuk officially requested a trade today as the organization does not begin negotiations on a new contract with the All-Pro receiver. Port says he's looking for a contract comparable to the Lions' Amara St. Brown, which is a four-year, $120 million deal. He has one year left in a $14.1 million deal. From the NFL, reports from Caleb Williams is assigned for a four-year rookie contract. The deal is worth $39 million, fully guaranteed. It was $25.5 million, signing bonus. The contract also includes a fifth-year team option. Last five first-round picks to sign their contracts. The Bears are trying to open camp Saturday. They face the Texans at the Hall of Fame game August 1st. That's going to do everything here in sports. Don and Karina, back to you.